welcome to the Worldwide Cinematic Screening Event of Unity. I'm Kate Kudinski, Creative Development and Distribution Manager at Mushroom Pictures. We're so proud to be distributing Unity in Australia because when I first watched it, I felt that some of the themes in the film were particularly relevant to today. To quote one of our partners, Animals Australia, it's a film whose time has come. I was privileged recently to spend some time with Sean Monson, the director in LA. And Sean was extremely proud to have such an incredible cast of narrators that he got together. But most importantly, to get his message out there. Not the same, but equal. One particular actor who took part in this film is the incredible Geoffrey Rush. <coughs> Geoffrey's now celebrated 40 years as an Australian actor, receiving many prestigious awards and accolades. And Mushroom Pictures, we're so happy and excited to have you here tonight, Geoffrey, to say a few words about Unity. Please join me in welcoming Geoffrey Rush. I'm not sure how all of you got here tonight. Are you all vegans and activists? Yeah. <laughs> if you're not, you will be by the end of the screening. Uh, tonight, August 12th, this is screening globally. I think uh, I spoke to, uh, emailed Sean, the director, the other day and said, how many cinemas? He said, we think between 1,200, uh, between 11 and 1,200, which compared to you know, mainstream standards, that's pretty good for a doco. Uh, I want to thank that ebullient maestro entrepreneur, Michael Godinsky and Kate, because they've put their full force behind the Australian chapter of this global screening. Director Sean Monson's last documentary, which came out a decade ago, was Earthlings. You've probably all seen it an unflinching plea for animal rights with a full graphic catalogue of the cruelties that human beings routinely inflict on animals of all kinds. This film tonight has no real conventional marketing budget. I'm one of the hundred contributors as a narrator. Uh, at the end of 2013, I saw a rough, unmixed edit in LA. Uh, I wrote to Sean and said, I thought I was pretending to be a critic. Uh, I, I wrote and said, I found it to be striking and as beautiful as it is intensely ecological, staggeringly cosmological, strangely spiritual, corrosively political, fascinatingly historical. If I could put a trashy slash on a poster, I'd say a thrilling and immersive mind fuck. <laughs> he hasn't used any of that. <coughs> it's something about something and this equals a tree. I don't, I don't think it's got the same kind of bite. Uh, but that's just me because, you know, I read New Scientist and I love show tunes, so who's going to listen to me? Uh, I'm sure your response is going to be very, very personal. Uh, I'm not here to pitch the film or try and prescribe it. Here are some quotes from Sean that I think are useful. It needed to have a narrator, and I didn't want to have one because it's called Unity. My original goal was 25. No one's ever done that before. With five themed chapters, I thought we would get a few per chapter. A few. I felt multiple voices would be good. A hundred was never a goal, and certainly not celebrities, as they say, because there are some pretty interesting kind of people's names attached, I think. Uh, but multiple diverse voices speaking to you, different ages, different ethnicities, and it became very important to him. This, I think, is useful. Consider, from Sean, consider thinking of this film as a yoga class. It will stretch you, burn you inside, and at times your mind will even be asked to confront and hold positions longer than it is comfortable doing so. But afterward, when all is said and done, if we've done our job correctly, you should feel renewed, if not reborn. My colleagues and I have spent the past seven years assembling this picture together. Our only hope is that it has a positive effect. I hope it does on you tonight. Thank you. I wanted to be a part of this film, not only because I've known writer-director Sean Monson for many years, and we worked together previously on a project called Earthlings, but also because I believe in the film's central message, that we are not the same, but equal. So please sit back and open your hearts and minds to the experience of unity. 
and thank you very much for joining us.